First at five, now safe and sound. The search for a 15-year-old boy now over. San Antonio police are telling us that Elijah Hernandez Casares is now safe. Missing children, the Bear County Sheriff's Office says this is a situation that's all too common at this time of the year, and the outcomes are always different. Yeah, yesterday we told you about 18-year-old Anthony Lunas. His remains were found more than three months after he was reported missing. So his family is getting some closure, but what about the families that are still waiting for answers? Our Jaffney Gray explains how parents of missing children can manage their mental health. When a child is missing, waiting for an outcome can take a toll on the parent's mental health. We get more frightened, afraid, depressed. Psychiatrist Dr. Harry Croft says no matter how long the timeline may be, it is important to share your feelings. Family or friends or church or finding an organization. It is also important to take care of yourself. What most people will tend to do is withdraw. They don't eat right. They don't sleep right. There's a tendency to numb the pain through drinking too much, taking drugs. At times, loved ones tend to take matters into their own hands while awaiting the return of their child. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar says, always call law enforcement first and maintain communication. There's a myth out there that says, well, we have to wait 24 hours before we report the missing. That does not, that's not true. And that's with any age. Salazar says one of the reactions a panicked parent may have is to create their own missing persons flyer with their own personal information on it. However, he says, should you go that route, he encourages you put down the non-emergency number of a law enforcement agency or put down 911. This to protect against scammers who may capitalize on your grief. The last thing we want is a distraught mother or father getting that call at two in the morning saying we have your loved one and then being scammed out of money or possibly putting themselves at risk. No matter the outcome of an investigation, Dr. Croft says it is important to seek counseling and for family members to remain supportive. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.